it, you guys, because my Fitbit just went off. I just hit my 10,000 steps. Yes, I'm doing it. I, you got super excited, sir. You don't even have a Fitbit on, but you love it. You love getting those. Does anybody here have Fitbits? Do we have Fitbits in here? Okay, just me, just me. Great, great, great. You, baby. Okay, thank God. Okay, someone sort of. Okay, so here's the thing. You got God, work with me, work with me. I mean, it's like three, I feel like it's 3D. Nothing is happening, nothing is happening. Okay, so here's the thing, you guys. I'm all about this Fitbit, right? I am all about this Fitbit. But the other day it hit me. I'm like, Regina, you were all about your Fitbit, but somehow your bits aren't getting fit. <laughs> Right, like what is the problem? And here's the thing you guys, your Fitbit tells you how many steps you take, neglects to tell you where you take those steps. Okay, yes, yeah, so an after dinner walk to the bakery, wrong, <laughs> wrong. You guys, yesterday I walked to and from happy hour, right, bad, bad. But I was at a wedding over the weekend, you guys, I danced way up to 40,000 steps, right? Killing it, killing it, yeah. But Fitbit doesn't tell you, while I was dancing, I was drinking a gin and tonic through mozzarella stick. I wish that wasn't true. I wish that wasn't true. But here's the thing, guys. I live in New York City, so there's some advantages here because you guys, my weight, yeah. <laughs> yeah! Okay, good, good. Get excited for the place that we are. That's good. One person's like, I'm just going to scream every time you mention the city. Good, good. Good for that person. Good for you. Um, so here's the thing, guys. My weight always fluctuates. It always fluctuates. But if I want to know how I'm doing, gang, I don't like to go by the scales. Okay, I don't like to go by how my clothes fit. I live in New York City. If I want to know how my weight's doing, I like to go by the reaction of my Jamaican doorman. Right, that's how I do it. That's how I do it. Because for a while I was hitting the gym hard, right? And one day Albert pulled me aside and he was like, men in a Caribbean don't like it when women lose a lot of weight. But I saw him yesterday and he was like, men in my country would line up for you. And I was like, shit, I have to get back to the gym. Right, you learn that lesson the hard way. Right, here's the thing, I know a lot of ladies, a lot of ladies don't like catcalling, right? They don't like when men call out. And I have to be honest with you guys, I don't have a problem with it. Right, because here's the thing, right? Every once in a while I wake up in the morning, I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh God, Regina, what happened to you? And then I walk outside of my apartment and some guy's like, that's what I'm talking about. And I'm like, you know what, that is what he's talking about. Like, I am back, I am back. Right, like that is all you need sometimes. Right, that is all you need. Now you guys, I don't know if you guys realize this, but I am the only lady on this lineup tonight. The only lady on this lineup. Yes, yes, yes. Only lady on this lineup and I have the deepest voice. Yeah, yeah, you guys, my two-year-old niece calls me Uncle Gina. On purpose, on purpose. Right, ridiculous. You guys, I did a show not that long ago. I got off stage and this woman came up to me and she was like, oh my God, you're, you're so funny. My friend wants to meet you. I said, um, anything for a fan. And she said, my friend is a speech pathologist. And she thinks you have polyps. Right, so I run into this lady in the bathroom and she starts making me do vocal exercises and I'm doing them because I want to be loved. And then eventually she was like, does it hurt when you talk? So I was like, it doesn't hurt me when I talk, but I feel like it hurts you when I talk. Right, so you guys, Polyp's got a woo during that, which was weird, but there's a Polyp lover in here, and I'll find you later. There's a Polyp lover in here. Uh, but I was actually, I was doing a show at a college, and this group of girls started laughing, but like independently of the show. So finally I said to them, what's so funny? And they were like, you sound like someone, but we can't tell you who. I said, no, no, you have to tell me. And they said, you sound like the slug lady from Monsters, Inc. I'm watching you, Wazowski. Always watching you. Right, you almost did a spit take, sir. That's what I'm talking about, right? So here's the thing, you guys. As soon as I got home from that show, I was like, oh my God, you're still laughing about it. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. You can't take it. You can't take it. As soon as I got home, I was like, oh my God, I have to Google and see what other voices this woman does. But it's a dude. That's a man doing that. That's a man. This is me as a lady. <laughs> 